problems on resolution of forces so before going to discussion about the problems you need to learn so concept okay of a resolution of forces but means how to find out this direction as well as magnitude so magnitude means the resultant okay and direction is theta see here so now i am taking two axes one vertical and other one is the horizontal okay so now i am i am considering four forces in four coordinates so this is the one this is two this is the three and this is the four okay so f1 force acting in first quadrant now i am taking so f2 force acting second quadrant now i am taking f3 force acting third quadrant then f4 force acting in fourth quadrant like this okay so see here the angle between this horizontal line and this force is theta 1 the angle between these two lines is theta 2 the angle between these two lines is theta 3 the angle between these two lines is theta 4 okay see here theta 1 and theta 2 and theta 3 and theta 4 so these are all angle of the forces okay so but how to find out the r value r means magnitude so we know that one formula r equal to under root of summation of x square plus summation of v square then what is the meaning of r r means magnitude or resultant force okay then h means horizontal forces h means horizontal force horizontal horizontal forces then v means vertical forces v means v means vertical forces summation of h means summation means the sum of all horizontal forces of the forces all forces and so summation b means sum of all vertical forces but how to take the horizontal forces and vertical forces from f1 and f2 and f3 and f4 so please see the procedure okay then so f1 now i am uh, considering force f1 and theta1 f1 and theta1 so this is the inclined force f1 okay so we cannot find out the from inclined forces so that resolved into two components already you know that okay so resolved into two components so that one is in x direction so other end in y direction okay see see the procedure so please resolve like this so one is in x direction and y direction or otherwise you can solve this problem like this okay then resolve in vertical direction as well as horizontal direction the f1 force is resolved into vertical and horizontal direction okay see next so the angle opposite the value of that means the uh, what is the value of what is the uh, what is the force of in x direction so what is the force in y direction okay so already you know that okay angle opposite is the sign is the sign angle adjacent is the cause okay so please consider force also that means force into sine of angle then force into cos of angle okay so next i am considering this so second one f2 force now i am considering the f2 force see here so this one also uh, resolved in resolve the f2 force into two components like this one is the vertical other one is the horizontal like this like this so theta opposite is the sign now i am taking force into sine of angle okay then force into f2 into cos theta 2 okay so next third one so please consider third force so this force also resolved into two components like this see here so this one is the one is a vertical force other one is the horizontal force so theta opposite is the sign already you know that f3 sine theta 3 then this one is adjacent so that now i am considering the cos theta 3 okay so please consider fourth four f4 four force okay so this force also inclined so that it's resolved into two components in x direction like this in y direction like this okay so now i am taking now i am taking f4 so theta 
adjacent line is the f4 cos theta 4 theta opposite is the sine that means f4 sine theta 4 okay so this is, so please follow this procedure okay next see here so one more condition is very important one more condition is very important okay see this is the right side direction so direction also very important so in this case directions right left and up and down so all these four conditions are very important okay the force is acting in right side direction so please stay positive in left side direction please stay negative the force is acting upward direction positive downward direction is negative okay so these four conditions are very important right side positive left side negative and upward is positive downward is negative okay next see then so before going to solve the problem you need to identify the directions also okay so now i am taking this is the uh, force is f1 the force f1 see here the force f1 is so this is the center axis okay so from this axis the force is acting right side direction and upward see here this is f1 force is the right side direction and upward the f1 force is acting right side and upward direction okay so that's why i'm taking right side direction and upper direction okay so next so please consider f2 force so this force is acting left side direction left and upward left upward okay so that so please consider f2 force is left side direction and upper direction next so please consider f3 force this force also acting left side and downward direction left down okay so that so f3 cos theta 3 also acting left side direction and downward direction now i am going to f4 okay so please consider force f4 so this force see here f4 cos theta acting right side direction right side but downward direction right side and downward direction so that so please take f4 cos theta in x direction right side in y direction down side okay see so already you know that a concept right side forces are positive left side forces are negative and upward positive next downward is negative okay see see the procedure how to calculate the so sigma h and sigma v sigma h means the sum of all horizontal forces now i am taking sigma h horizontal forces see here horizontal forces so this one is the horizontal force f1 f4 f2 and f3 so all these forces are acting in horizontal direction okay see in case of the right side direction is positive left side direction is negative now i am going to start with f1 cos theta 1 f2 f3 f4 okay so f1 cos theta 1 acting right side direction f1 cos theta 1 so this is the positive this is the positive next f2 so f2 acting is the left side direction so that now i am taking minus f2 cos theta 2 next so please consider f3 cos theta 3 so this force also acting left side direction so that's why i am taking minus f3 cos theta 3 next so f4 cos theta 4 acting right side direction see here right side direction that's why i am taking plus f f4 cos theta 4 okay so this is the concept for sigma h next sigma v next now i am taking so vertical forces okay so please start with f1 and f2 f3 f4 so please follow the sequences okay next now i am taking this force f1 sin theta 1 is the upper side direction so that so please consider this is the positive f1 sin theta 1 next so please consider next vertical force f2 sin theta 2 so this is an upper direction so that take plus plus f2 sin 
theta to next third force so this force acting downward direction so that so please consider minus minus f3 sin theta 3 next see here this force so this force f4 sin theta 4 acting downward direction so that so please consider negative minus f4 sin theta 4 so this is the procedure okay next then next one is theta direction but how to find out the direction of the resultant force okay see here now i am taking tan theta so tan theta equal to sigma v by sigma h so p substitute sigma v and sigma h value then theta equal to tan inverse of sigma v by sigma h so this is the complete procedure for calculation of calculating for calculating for direction that means magnitude as well as sorry magnitude and direction okay so this problem is very 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 important